You can count on the Fed doing the wrong thing every time. Dropping the rate and still losing almost 800 tells you how screwed up the economy is becoming. They also dumped 120 billion into the financial systems too. Both of those things that have worked in the past were used on the same day, and it closed down 785 anyway. All this over a puny correction in the stock market. What will the Fed do when all of the world's toxic financial waste goes bad at the same time? Because it's this toxic waste, that's the real problem, and the Fed seems intent on ignoring it. The Fed is running out of ammo. 1% left to cut. So mega QE next. That is not bullish at all. The Fed had been doing QE since last September, wondering what they are gonna try to come up with this time around after they run out of rates to cut. Punishing savers and rewarding Wall Street with free money to borrow and buy back shares. $5 trillion in BBB bonds. In a few months recession overdue, those bonds get downgraded, pensions need to dump, they lock up. The Fed has been goosing to the pathetic Trump economy. $100 billion per month deficit and lowered interest rates leave no dry powder for a recession. Trump's next bankruptcy will be the USA. The economy is already overdosing on cheap money. Amazing, these same people cheered on the way up, but now say if Powell had not cut, and bad businesses washed out, we wouldn't be in this situation. Last night's repo was the largest ever. The Fed is impotent. They can't fix this. The house of cards it built will come crashing down on it. They're running scared, knowing they are using up the little margin they have before they have to go to negative interest rates, which will never fly in the USA. The markets, both participants and manipulators realize that the honeymoon is over. This market is sobering up, and it is not going to be pretty when they take a long look at the creature they are in bed with. The system has gangrene rotting from the inside, and they keep giving it aspirin hoping it will heal. The Fed busted their nut, and it didn't work. It already does smell like panic, and, from the highest level. When the Fed panics, and it is apparent to all, the cascade will be epic as panic spreads down the food chain. The run to the exit doors will be a sight to see. Global economic slowdown more significant than previously thought. No surprise to anyone who follows my videos. The US and the world economies are in free fall. If you think cutting rates solves the problem, you are part of the problem. The rate cut just confirmed we're in the endgame now. Buckle in everyone and hold on your medals. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too, on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. Thank you. What's coming is a depression, not a recession. Paying the government to hold your money while the government, the Fed, promotes an inflation rate that peels 22% to 28% off your dollar in 10 years? Who are these central bankers that dictate to us, yet are immune from the ill effects of their own policies? Why do you think the New York Fed is loaded with people from Wall Street? So they can front run the rate cuts. The power that be have crushed savers, conservatives, anything prudent, logical, or forthright for the last 20 years. The market is the spoiled rotten child that screams for candy, the rate cut, from mommy, the Fed, when he gets the candy he continues to get even more spoiled and rotten, but if he doesn't get the candy, he throws a big hairy tantrum but at least learns he can't always get what he wants and maybe improves his attitude. The market shouldn't be rallying period. Fundamentals are tanking. The yield curve is historic 10 years lowest in history, worldwide near pandemic. Why should there be any rally going on? The reading of the tea leaves is bordering on insanity. Most informed people know what is up. The Fed has levitated this market for decades. The move from 6,600 in 2009 to 29,000 in 2020 would seem to indicate things have gotten frothy, shall we say. What has never made any sense to me is in order to get out of the last mortgage crisis Paulson and Bernanke decided the best course of action via TARP was to push loads of money out into the market to those who made the grave errors in the first place. And we are to believe this move was going to solve all our problems. The degenerate gamblers got the cash and went right back to the roulette tables. When people pound the table about how good the economy is, yet the Fed has to go, almost, all in at the slightest blip. Something doesn't quite square properly. It's been done so many times now that it's lost its efficacy. Rate cuts aren't doing it, and the Fed won't cut the players off by taking away the punch bowl permanently. 
The market is going to, at some point, have to go cold turkey, or we'll never get beyond this. The combo of zero interest rates, we're headed back there, and a good economy should be causing people to take a pause. Powell seems like he just lost control. Powell is just another in a long list, dating back to Greenspan, of educated fools who, after hitting the switch, discover that the lights went out and marveled at the raw power of the moment. I'm waiting for Trump's smoke and mirrors economy to tear itself apart. Only 14 days ago we had, the greatest economy in the history of the world, now in 14 days, POTUS says we need to bail out healthcare, farmers, more banking stimulus, and a 50 BP rate cut that went flaccid. Talk about a 180 turn. Trump realized that the debt and pledge crisis could not be resolved proactively, so he decided to kick the can down the road like his predecessors. The problem has been building up for decades. It can only be resolved after a major crisis ensues. It is a fundamental failure of democracy. Global pandemic gives Trump a perfect cover story, so he may actually win even if a recession hits. I'm expecting the Fed's next move is QE5, where they directly purchase S&P and critical Dow assets to keep the plunge from falling into the abyss. Prepare for a wild ride of market volatility over the next three to six months. It's a good time to be a nimble trader and a poor time to be an investor unless you are in precious metals and possibly the miners if they don't stomp those down in conjunction with pumping the market darlings. Gold or silver or precious metals stock is a contract that will become worthless paper because there are not enough physical precious metals to cover all of the contracts. Own only physical precious metals. The Fed doesn't have the stones to not cut. If they had just done that a long time ago, we wouldn't be in this situation. This is Trump's freefall economy. Our entire manufacturing sector is in free fall, the service sector is in free fall. Our debt and deficit are exploding. And Trump is calling it a booming economy, when in fact we are headed towards depression. And most Americans are already there, as poverty and homelessness are exploding. Trump, the puppet, is viewing and parroting this entire scam from his master's perspective. And his mind probably works in the same way of that of his master, or he would not be so good at what he's doing. But from his master's perspective, this is the greatest economy ever. It makes perfect sense, does it not? If you seek to install your new world order one world government, and you need all the people to be without any means to maintain even the illusion of autonomy, and render them 100% dependent on your willingness to allow them another day in this slave farm. It's warfare, and there's an enemy. Many people just haven't figured who it is yet. The Fed doesn't care about the average American, all they care for is the banks and DC. Even the Fed themselves are just puppets of the IMF who are the puppets of the cabal. The criminal cabal elite has designed a fake economy, which in turn created a distorted society with no morals and no values. That's why everything is collapsing. Socialism for the rich does not work. Plato was right. You can count on the Fed doing the wrong thing every time. The two years were showing how far they had to cut to have an effect, which is a 0.75% cut. What the Fed should be doing is raising, because now they're going to zero, and that will either make the markets zombie for decades, or rates will rise dramatically as the banks collapse. Enjoy Powell and the Keenshans now because they're going blow up spectacularly, and it will be messy. If you needed another reason to get your money out of the man's bank while you still can and into precious metals where it can't be inflated away, confiscated, or used to bail in your favorite bankster, consider that this rate cut caused a massive drop in stock prices. President Donnie is the best salesman for more usurious debt that the banksters could ever dream of. The economy has never been more distorted, and we have never been taking debt on at such a fast rate. If you think differently, you don't understand central banking, or you are a shill, full stop. Communism is bad because there is no direct negative feedback for inefficiency, that is what Donnie promotes, more debt. But keep slamming pies in your face, clown. I find it amusing. Come on, Republicans and Democrats. You are both like Coke and Pepsi. You are competing but have the same business model and the same corporate owners. You should make up and exchange a big wet kiss, and more if affinity. The elite are laughing their asses off all the way to the bank while you are fighting each other. Grow a brain, people. The perfect dictatorship would have the appearance of democracy, a prison without walls in which the prisoners would not dream of escape, a system of slavery where, through consumption and entertainment, slaves would love their servitude. People don't need truth. 
They need money, food, shelter, and sex that they willingly exchange for slavery. Debt is the absence of money. Debt is slavery. Real money carries no counterparty risk. This paper is just bank credit, usury. It is easier to fool people than it is for people to admit they've been fooled, said Mark Twain. What you think is controlled by what you watch, and what you watch is controlled by the elite. With forever QE and zero interest rate forever, stock ownership will replace the dollar. Soon Costco will only accept shares of Tesla for payment for toilet paper. What does the Fed know about coronavirus that we don't? They know it will be the perfect scapegoat for their bubble blowing and massive wealth transfers. And they are going to use it to transfer five times as much wealth as they stole after 2008. Such a fascinating world we live in. Who the heck could have ever guessed that a pandemic would have been the pin to prick this bubble? This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. Thank you.